इंग्लिश में दे आर नॉट बिग चैप्टर्स ही बने हैं कौन सा नहीं करते हैं डस्ट ऑफ स्कूल सॉन्ग इतना ही भी और हां और सारे मारे मगर मगर अरे लेकिन मिल गया ना पांच फोर्टी फोर तो फोर्टी फोर और ना पचास
They were good looking healthy girls and it was not difficult to find bright rooms for them. Okay, because they were well off also and they were good looking also. So they wouldn't have a problem getting out the room for them. But Ramlal was worried about Guri. She neither had good looks nor intelligence. Goli was seven years old when Mangla was married. Who was Mangla? Second. Uh, so second. The second one. So she was how old at that time? Seven. <laughs> 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 Small kid. So she thinks, Mujabi, you know, please bring me 
So, no, 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 she shouted in terror and pulled her hand away from her father's grip. What's the matter with you, you fool? shouted Ramdhan. I am only taking you to school. Then he told his wife, let, uh, let her wear some decent clothes today. Or else, what will the teachers and the other school girls think of us when they see her? So, which means that home she used to not even be, they used to not even bother about her dresses. So, let her wear good clothes today. So, that clears that part. Then, new clothes had never been made for Goli. The old dresses of her sisters were passed on to her. Usually, that happens so if you have two siblings. The mother will keep the clothes of the elder one and then she will give it to the younger one. Maybe not all clothes. <laughs> 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 So usually they come from the logo, there's some guy who is very popular. Yes, some of them. It is then passed on to the next. <laughs> okay. He is like that, you know, the next chapter also Ramuna and Banaras was so I say Gautam Buddha Siddharth Gautam. He was a prince, no? So <laughs> he was not aware of what was happening in the world. But Yehi Dumiya hai, Yehi reality hai. And what is reality is everything nice and uh, good within the palace for a prince. So he is also like prince. <laughs> <laughs> ah, Prince Charles doesn't even put his toothpaste on his own. So, you know, that's <laughs> he, They have a separate person for that. One inch of toothpaste exactly has to be put. There is one person who just a dustbin. They become very extreme. Hai, tera nahi hai. <laughs> but very extreme where they become so handy that they something had fallen on the in the dustbin which he wanted to pick up or by mistake he threw something he called up his assistant and asked him to give it you all saw that video where he was signing yeah, something went, and the uh, pen was speaking yeah and he, yeah. he got so irritated yeah the pen was leaking they were signing time. this was after Elizabeth's death so he was signing some documents and his wife was also there his wife forgot the name hey. huh hey. What? Megan. Uh, Megan. 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 Means that the side is getting irritated. Why does it? So they literally become uh, handicapped. They cannot do anything on their own. Which means the shoelaces are also high. Mm -hmm. That's the life they need. Yeah. The shoelaces are high. For those toothbrush, he has a separate person put in the toothpaste for him in advance, just before. <laughs> even the, the even his bathtub water. Has to be at the perfect temperature, not filled till the top, exactly half filled, and there are people doing that. So, anyway, what they are there about the thing? So, so that's supposed to go out. Do you want to go out? Papa said something. Take it out. What did he say to Papa? Papa said something. Hey, servant. Servant. Yes. Assistant. Go with that. Go with that. Machine. Don't bring that. Okay. Okay, Chalda. So what was he? How did he come to this? 
Because the growth are uh, passed from, from the elder siblings to the younger one. So, but, uh, ha, no one cared. Uh, new clothes had never been made, older children were not No one cared to mend or wash her clothes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, today. but today, she was lucky to receive a clean dress which had shrunk after many washings. Which I no longer fitted Chandra. So still it was a dress that was passed on, but it was a nice dress. She was even bathed and oil was rubbed into her dry and matted hair. Matted means rough. Only then did she begin to believe that she was being taken to a place better than her home. <laughs> she was being dressed up well. So at least she thought that, okay, I am not uh, going so to where Lakshmi was the case. <laughs> right. When they reached the school, the children were already in their classrooms. Ramlal handed over his daughter to the headmistress. Left alone, the poor girl looked about her with fear-laden eyes, fearful eyes. There were several rooms. And in each room, girls like her squatted on mats. What it is, they sat on the mat down and reading from books or writing on slates. The headmistress asked Bully to sit down in a corner in one of the classrooms. Bully did not know what exactly a school was like and what happened there, but she was glad to find. So many girls, or most of her own age, present there. So for her, it's going to be something good, no? Because there she was totally isolated in her own house. She didn't have anyone of her own age within the house, even outside. She used to not interact much with friends. She hoped that one of these girls might become her friend. The lady teacher who was in the class was saying something to the girls, but Bully could understand nothing. nothing. She looked at the pictures on the wall. The colors fascinated her. The horse was brown, just like the horse on which the Tessi Dal had come to visit their village. The horse, huh? On a horse. Uh, on the horse. <laughs> so, <laughs> the goat, the goat was black, like the goat of their neighborhood. The parrot was green. Like the parrots she had seen in the mango orchard. Orchard kya hai? Farm. Hmm? A fruit farm is known as an orchard. And the cow was just like their Lakshmi. <laughs> so that made her, uh, you know, feel that this is a world that I should, I am familiar with. Put now so out of place in And suddenly, Boli noticed that the teacher was standing by her side, smiling at her. What's your name, little one? Go, go. So again, she, she was stammering. She could stammer no further than that. Then she began to cry. And tears flowed out from her eyes in a helpless flood. She, had, she was nervous, no? She was nervous. She lacked confidence. She had not been out in the world. Yeah. Oh, she and she was in a new uh, environment now, no? She kept her head down as she sat in the corner, not daring to look up at the girls who she knew were still laughing at her because she was stammering. When the school bell rang, all the girls scurried out of the scurried and ran out. Yes. Uh, all the girls scurried out of the classroom. But Boli dared not leave her corner. That reminds me of that uh, movie called Satavu Amirkar. Yeah. So well, I, wasn't it this, a similar thing where everyone moves and this boy is here and then in the class itself? Yeah. Huh. Yeah. After that, right? And then Amirkar sits and talks to him. So. <laughs> Okay. 
So her hair, so she did not lean or fall, no? even after all the children went on. Her head still lowered. She kept on sobbing. Only crying. Growing, growing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was growing English. and growing and growing. English, English. English. Not R O W I. What is the spelling of growing? R O I I N G. Not R O W I N G. Okay. No. So, this is the correct spelling. <laughs> this is the correct spelling. Yes. <laughs> 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 
Holi felt as if suddenly all the bells in the village shelter were ringing and the trees in front of the schoolhouse had blossomed into big red flowers. So that showed that she was feeling nice and happy and hopeful about her future. What about her parents? Huh? What? What <laughs> <laughs> so her heart was throbbing with a new hope and new life. Then, thus the years passed. Every day new clothes? Every day new <laughs> clothes of her sisters, but better ones. Because of because their respect has to be maintained. At home again the same old clothes. The village became a small town. So this is after many years. The village became a small town. The little primary school. It won't be so distracting for it. The little primary school became a two to Nande. So the little primary school became a high school. There was now a cinema under a tin shed and a cotton ginning mill. Ginning. Cotton mill. Cloth making. Cinema. Ginning. Pronounced as Jimmy, not Jimmy. The mail train began to stop at the railway station. So now this became a more important, more developed location. One night after dinner, Ramla said to his wife, Then shall I ex accept Vishambhar's proposal? Vishambhar's proposal? He's, yes, certainly, his wife said. Bodhi will be lucky. To get such a well to do bridegroom. So, this was for a for Bhuli, okay, a match for Bhuli. What was his name? Vishwan. A big shop, a house of his own, and I hear several thousand in the back. So, he's a well to do guy. Hey, well to do person. Moreover, he is not asking for any dowry. That's right. But he is not so young, you know. Almost the same age as I am. <laughs> and he no, also you. lives. Who are almost the same as? Ramlal's age. And he also yes. has a limb. Limb means langda ke chalta. Moreover, the children from his first wife are quite grown up. So this was his second marriage. He had grown up children who might be of Bodhi's age or maybe older, we don't know. But this was his second marriage and he was as old as her own father. Older than Bodhi. Huh. So what does it matter? His wife uh, he replied, 45 or 50, it is no great age for a man. We are lucky that he is from another village and does not know about her pop marks and lack of sense. If we don't ex accept this proposal, she may remain unmarried all her life. So just to get her married, so she was still down. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. That's what the they feel. Like it was a gradual change no, from the time she was she started school till she was grown up. So they were getting her married to this person who was 45, 50 years old, had a limb, but yes, he was well to do, and it seemed like he didn't know about her pockmarks and her lack of intelligence. Yeah. You <laughs> She may remain unmarried all her life. Okay? So we have to accept. Yes, 
But I wonder what Holi will say. What will that witless one say? She is like a dumb cow. Huh? So who said this? The, the mother, mother said. said. The mother said. Hmm? Huh. The mother said. What will the witless one say? She is like a dumb cow. Maybe you are right, mother. Ramana. In the other corner of the courtyard, Bholi lay awake on her cot, listening to her parents' whispered conversation. Whispered means they were talking softly, but she was hearing that. Vishambhan Nath was a well-to-do grocer. Grocer is who? Grocery shop of Kirane Vala. By Vishambhan Nath was a well-to-do grocer. He came with a big party of friends and relations with him for the wedding. Big party is from the uh, big group of friends. Huh? Big group of friends, and because he was well off, so he'll have a lot of contacts. So and relatives, so all of them came for the wedding. A brass band playing a popular tune from an Indian film headed the procession. With the bridegroom riding a decorated horse. Ramlal was overjoyed to see such form and splendor because they were there also. There was a lot of show sha over there, and Ramlal was very impressed with that. He had never dreamt that his fourth daughter would have such a grand wedding. Both his elder sisters, who had come for the occasion, were envious of her luck. Envious means jealous. Yes. Jealous. <laughs> Jealousy is more of a negative thing. Envious is like, wow, that you're impressed. Hmm? Jealousy means you don't like it. You envy something means you look up to something. It's more in those terms. Hmm? So envy is positive. Envy is positive. Envy is mostly used as negative. Jealousy is. Jealousy. Like if you're better than me, I'm jealous of you. Means I don't accept you. I don't. But if I'm envious of you, I look up to you. Wow, that's good. That I do Okay, so uh, they were envious. When the auspicious moment came, the priest said, "Bring the bride." Bolly, clad in a red silken bridal dress, dressed oh. him. Huh? She was dressed in, you wear those, uh, the, you know, those heavy clothes for the wedding, the red sari and all that. So she was dressed in that. Was led to the bride's place near the sacred fire. Kalim the bride, one of the friends from the Vishambhana. The bridegroom lifted the garland of yellow marigolds. Yellow flowers, the marigolds are known, those gilda flowers. Okay? So the yellow ones, he lifted that to put it on her. A woman slipped back the silken veil from the bride's face. Silk veil is the bhungat. Hmm? So because he had to wear the garland, a woman pulled that up from her face. Silken veil. Vishambar took a quick glance. Now, earlier we said, no, he's not seen her. He doesn't know about the pop marks. But now he saw the face. He could see her. The garland remained poised in his hands. Means held. He didn't put it on her. The bride slowly put down the veil, down the veil over her face. So, Holi uh, again covered her face. Have you seen her? said Vishambar to the friend next to him. She has pock marks on her face. So what? You're not young either. Maybe. But if I am to marry her, her father must give me 5,000 rupees. So now he's demanding 5,000 rupees. Yes. Mm -hmm. Ramana went and placed his turban in honor at Vishambar's feet. This you understand, no? Because a turban signifies a person's respect, dignity. So he put that down at Vishambar's feet. Do not humiliate me so. Humiliate means insult. 
because now everything is prepared in front of the society. If you refuse, it's going to be really humiliating for you. So do not humiliate me so. Take 2,000 rupees. How much he wanted? 5,000. He said, take 2,000 rupees. No, 5,000. Or we go back. Keep your daughter. Be a little considerate, please. If you go back, I can never show my face in the village. Then out with 5,000. Tears streaming down his face. Ramlal went in, opened the safe and counted the notes. He placed the bundle at the bridegroom's feet. On Vishambar's greedy face appeared a triumphant smile. Triumphant means victorious, that I am successful in what I wanted. So on Vishambar's greedy face appeared a triumphant smile. He had had his way, no? He had gambled and won. Hmm? Gambled, he demanded for it. He didn't know if I'll get it or no, but then he had got it. So he was very triumphant. Give me the garment, he announced. Right at that time, he didn't uh, garland her. He had held it in her hand when he had seen her. So now he asked for the garment. Give me the garland, he announced. Once again, the veil was slipped back from the bride's face. But this time, her eyes were not downcast. She was looking up looking straight at her prospective husband. Prospective means to be husband. And in her eyes, there was neither anger nor hate, only cold contempt. Which means she was totally disliking what was happening. Hmm? Earlier it was downcast, but now she was facing, which means what transition had come about in her? Power. Yes, power, more positivity, more confidence. Shut up, confidence. Okay. Nice, no? Super the part, Jumei Samza. Or Jumei Aungi Kabi Pooch Kutla. Super? Yes, super. I'm <laughs> 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 